today's date, uh, at approximately 1.50 p.m., the Waukesha County Communication Center received a 911 call from a resident in the town of Delafield, and that was regarding a 31-year-old male family member who was suicidal, and it was reported that they were in possession of a shotgun and that that shotgun had been discharged in the residence. The caller reported uh, that the shotgun was loaded. Our deputies responded uh, from the sheriff's office and surrounding areas to the residence. We made contact with the subject, who at the time when we made contact with him uh, had the shotgun uh, in his hands. Uh, after we had made uh, numerous requests and demands for the subject to drop the shotgun, uh, one of our officers, a 22-year-old, uh, I'm sorry, a 22-year veteran deputy of the Sheriff's Department, discharged his service weapon and wounded the subject. After that, um, emergency medical procedures took place. The subject was disarmed and was transported by Flight for Life helicopter to Freighter Memorial Hospital, where his condition is unknown at this time. Uh, I have asked the Walworth County Sheriff's Department to take over the investigation of this particular incident, which is fairly standard in a situation like this. They have responded, and uh, at this time, Walworth County uh, is actually beginning their investigation. What do we know about the circumstances that is, I know you said that uh, your deputy made contact with this person. Were they both in the residence? Uh, what do we know about that? The initial information, and again, it's all preliminary at this point, is that uh, the victim, in this case of the suspect, uh, who was uh, ultimately wounded, uh, was inside the residence uh, with the gun, with the shotgun, and that's where our deputies uh, encountered him inside the residence. Is there any sort of sense at this point for whether he was posing or saying he was going to pose a threat to other people inside? That is, the suspect or victim, was he pointing the gun at anyone, threatening anyone, any kind of hostage type situation? Well, what we know for sure is that the gun had been discharged in the residence, that he had a shotgun in his hand, and uh, there were repeated demands to drop the weapon. Um, so I, I think it would be difficult at this time to try to speculate as to what exactly his intentions were or any other information. How many shots did the sheriff take? We actually don't, that, that's still under investigation, and um, you know, our deputies are being interviewed, information is being given to Walworth County, and. You know, we really don't know at this time exactly. This guy definitely did not wound anyone when he fired the shotgun? That's correct. Okay. Uh, just so we can phrase it accurately, fair to say or not known at this point whether when he wouldn't drop the shotgun, he was pointing it at or threatening the deputy, um, or simply had the gun in the presence of the deputy and refused to... It's unknown at this time exactly what, what, what transpired in that short period of time. Uh, what do we know about, what do you know about the residents uh, the area, the home, who it was, who made that 911 call? It's a local residence. It's a residential area and a private residence, and uh, and he was uh, living at that residence at the time. So it was, a, as I mentioned, a 31-year-old male uh, that was residing at that residence currently. Was it a family member who made the call? It, it was a family member, correct. Uh, mother, That's, or do we know what the relation You know, I'm not 100% sure, and that information, again, is, is, uh, is all going to be followed up on. How severe were the wounds? Do you know that? I don't know the condition of the individual, but he's currently at Freightert and uh, and undergoing treatment as we speak. So that's all the information I have at this time. We'll keep you updated as, as often as we can. I think you have the information or the, the numbers of uh, Deputy Walschlager, who's our public information officer. Anything can be directed back to her. And, you know, <coughs> our goal is to keep you as informed as possible. And when we have information, whenever we can release it, you know, we certainly will. Do you have that address?